Hi there, welcome back. Dazzle Pro with AMD. Yes, QCS tool 55 and a 5 stands for AMD. This is my very first experience with AMD. This is a non-sponsored channel, non-sponsored video. We bought both of these computers from Dell with our own money and I'm trying to make this video as unbiased as possible. As you can see, I have a AMD and Intel CPUs behind me. I'm someone who was affected by the Intel 14th gen uh, CPU degradation issue. Uh, it took me four weeks to get uh, the RMA finished and get my 14900K CPU back from Intel. So I was really hoping that AMD going to be something different, something I can start offering to my clients. Why AMD? First of all, all the things out on YouTube and the internet, they are cheaper, significantly more efficient. They performing better. The integrated graphics card uh, is definitely better and the thermals are better. And that's going to be true and definitely not true. So let's go through the whole experience. So first of all, take a look at these two tools. One of them is a sound meter which is constantly turning itself off just like in the intel ultra case it says it's slow there is not enough sound to measure under 30 decibel this thing just shuts itself down the second one is an electrical flow meter and as you can see while this ryzen 5 pro cpu is idling in here we are pulling 12 to 13 watt is that sound good it is sound good however when i'm having an ultra 5 cpu this is under 5 watt. Uh, when I have an Ultra 7 CPU, that is usually around 10 to 12 watt. So this 12 to 13, just a bit higher, does it really uh, means a lot? No, if you are running a huge company and you have maybe thousands of desktops and they are on 24 seven, which my clients are running their machine in 24 seven all the time. With that kind of usage, these Dell Optiplex machines can and will last eight to 10 years. When they are running 24 seven, yes, we have stripped down versions. We have parts and components not available. Sometimes it's laughable to people who are not familiar with business class machines, especially when they look at how much these systems are costing. So this system right now runs around a thousand dollar and again is about a hundred dollar cheaper with a similarly spec Ultra 5 uh, system. So when I'm pushing this CPU to its absolute max, running games, running benchmarks, this will not exceed 80 watt. So I think overall power consumption at the end, this actually works out better. If I'm just doing browsing, uh, documents, PDF, whatnot, it's similar to the Intel system about 20, 30 watt. Uh, let's talk about uh, games and video editing. Yes, I was able to run DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I was able to run Modern Warfare, I was able to run GTA 5, the Asphalt Unite game. These are all fun. Full HD, they are running completely fine. There is enough FPS to make the experience better smooth, even with very high uh, graphic details. It is surprisingly good. And if I push this PC to 100% CPU utilization and let it run for 90 minutes, the temperature will not exceed 66 Celsius, which is, again, better uh, than the Intel system where I tested it. Let's look at benchmark real quick and let's see what kind of numbers are we getting. If we're getting through all these benchmarks and we're looking at the Intel Ultra 5 CPU, this AMD system will lag about 10 to 20% behind the Intel system. When we looking at multi-core environment, the, the ball game is completely different. This AMD system lags about 30 to 50% performance wise in multi-core. 
if I'm just browsing, opening up PDFs, I can open up probably 55 browser tabs on this machine and it's still not lagging. I upgraded the 8 gigs of default RAM to 64 gig. What I'm using is my favorite crucial kit, not sponsored, there's no affiliate links. This kit, 64 gig, cost around $130, depend on what tariffs uh, we have against who and where the, uh, the chip was actually manufactured. So with $130, you can technically max out this system where you can put, we only have two slots, 64 gigs in it, and the performance jumps, even if you have just eight gig, you upgrade it to 16 or 32, the performance significantly increases. Also, what I'm noticing is, this was my preconception, it's an AMD, maybe Dell will give us some slack and actually will give us a better uh, integrated graphic chip experience. If I'm looking at a $300, $350 Lenovo or Acer laptop, I can go into the BIOS and I can say like, give me four gigs of VRAM dedicated, uh, pulled out from my system memory, eight gig, 16 gig. Some of them even have maximum gaming experience performance. This thing doesn't have anything like that, which is not a shocker. None of the Intel systems from Dell has any of that. But when I have eight gigs of single stick, just like in this PC, which is not upgraded regards of the RAM from Dell, then well, we have 512 megabyte of VRAM. If I put 32 gig into this system, we're gonna have one gig. If we're gonna put 64 gig, just like what we have right now, we are going to have two gigs of dedicated VRAM. Is this an issue? Not really, because the, uh, the AMD system will automatically adjust uh, the VRAM from the RAM. However, there are some games which are refusing to load because it will check, oh, we only have two gig, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, if it would start loading, the AMD software would adjust, but this is very rare, 99% of the case, you're going to not run into that. The Vinci Resolve was able to run with this system, and I was able to edit 4K videos. The gaming experience, pulling up like a whole bunch of browser tabs, I cannot tell if this is an AMD or, or this is an Intel system, it is perfectly suitable. Again, maybe the gaming, which this thing was not designed, is actually better. One thing I cannot wrap my head around, uh, the RAM is bolted down to 4800. Uh, by default, so this is what they are ships this PC out. I'm gonna pull this cover off, and I'm gonna take out the RAM. So as you can see, Dell puts a 5600 uh, speed module into the system, but the speed is 4800. If you go down to specifications or spec sheets on comparable parts, you're going to be able to see that everything in, runs in 4800. I don't know why. If you have any idea, please let me in the comment section. I don't know why we cannot have a 5600. I went through not just this crucial, but a whole bunch of other modules, hoping that maybe I'm going to find a silver bullet and something will work faster than 48 not happening so uh, what you have to be careful with business class machines doesn't matter uh, if it's intel doesn't matter if it's amd uh, the dell 2025 line no longer coming with a bracket this bracket is no longer included uh, it's only included at the time of the purchase if uh, the uh, the machine uh, is actually spec out with uh, with the optical drive or it's spec out with a additional hard drive it's coming from there or pre-built and you have an optical drive if you don't have an optical drive you are not getting this bracket and as much as i can tell you uh, very hard to get this bracket from there almost impossible if it's possible i was i'm, I'm assuming this is somewhere between 30 and 60 dollars so you bought one of this system you were not aware of that this system will no longer come with a bracket no longer come with this little uh, power cord this was used to be included uh, sticked into the motherboard ready to put an optical drive or one SATA drive in by default this cable is also not included I think Dell now has it at the parts store runs around 20 to 30 dollars you can use the previous model I will include in the description the Dell uh, model number you can get this maybe for like 10 15 dollars from uh, eBay, Amazon, other places, again, um, don't have affiliate links. But what can you do if you don't have a bracket and you want to put a 3.5 SATA drive in here? I am not suggesting that this is something you should do. So people uh, on a Dell forum are coming up with workarounds. One of them is you're going to 
put two screws in your hard drive on a side uh, and just let it hang in here and put maybe a piece of plastic something underneath it just in case so this drive the metal uh, uh, case or shell will not touch any of the electric components on a motherboard. I am not suggesting that this is what should uh, what you should do. Uh, also, if you have a 2.5 SATA drive solid state, you can do the same thing. You can uh, you can uh, mount it uh, this way, or you can also put it right on a side. If you if you don't have this, you have enough space to put it between two of the metal clips where the power cable is coming down uh, to the CPU, the motherboard connector in here. So since I have this open, let's talk about uh, a couple things which you also need to be aware. As you can see by default, these business class machines are not coming with a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth. 99% of my clients don't need that. If you are somebody who needs that, you have to buy a system which includes, or you have to buy maybe a USB adapter just like this. You plug it in, you're good to go. Uh, the other thing which you have to be aware of, we only have one M2 uh, socket for our uh, drive in here. And that's it, there is no other way. We have two SATA connectors and we have two slots uh, for our RAM. We have a blower fan, which with the AMD is actually works better than the Intel version because the CPU is definitely cooler. It's only going up to 66 Celsius max, which is pretty good. Uh, now let's look at the PCI slot placement conveniently placed on a bottom which will block you to put a dual slotted video card into the system is impossible you will have to use a single slotted card uh, probably the highest performing card right now is this nvidia t1000 i made a video on uh, on uh, these uh, particular their cases which one is the best video card uh, feel free to uh, to watch that video but a single slotted card this is your best option now regards of power supply if you uh, thinking about this 180 watt power supply as i can tell you even if we push this pc to its absolute max it will only draw 80 watt so this 180 watt power supply is an overkill even if i have this nvidia card which can and will draw 70 watt from this bottom slot uh, was still plenty because it's still going to be around 150 watt absolute max which is not happening there is pretty much no application which will max out your cpu and your uh, graphics card in the same time some kind of balance it's either this or that or a combination of both so i usually see not more than 100 watt so this 180 watt power supply is plenty uh, there is an option to replace this power supply with this 360 watt version which is impossible to get at the moment the only option or only way to get this if you buy this pc from dell for 26 dollars you can replace or upgrade this 180 to this 360 and this is amazing this also has a connector an 8 pin for a graphics card for the first time also not coming with a cable if you need this cable ebay or dell has it hopefully Dell has it on stock, $30, $40. So a lot of things changed. And this bracket is not coming with the PC. This power cord is no longer coming with the PC. And a lot of you are upset, and I understand that. But I have to tell you, with all the tariffs, like all uh, the changes and the policy changes, uh, it's own, it's not own, it's double, it's triple. Uh, I understand why they have decided to cut things off. 99% of my clients are not need this, neither this, neither the Wi-Fi. And I was watching Dell, and again, this is not a sponsored channel. Dell is not paying me a dime. Uh, I don't think they ever will, but I have to defend Dell because I was watching the price on these computers day after day ever since they've been introduced and Dell was not doing price gouging. As a matter of fact, uh, when they started pumping these PCs out, I think just before the tariff situation kicked in, they were the lowest price I have seen for years. I give credit for Dell. And yes, um, it's upsetting. I, I don't know how this happened or what happened. A lot of documentation from Dell. A lot of Dell uh, reps were telling that, yes, uh, you're going to be able to put a SATA drive in it. And they are not coming with uh, the bracket, not coming with the cord. So upsetting. Uh, but I understand, I think, what's the main reason for that. Uh, as always, if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for your time. i see you in the next video. Scott's out.